back to the channel. Today we will show you how to remove and replace serpentine belt on a 3.0 V6 BMW engine uh, E90, E92, E93. Stay with us. Uh, that's the one we have right here. 328 XI. We'll show you how to do it now. So that's the okay. That's the serpentine belt right here. We will need to get some light there so we can show you guys how we can do it without removing anything. That's the tensioner pulley that uh, we need to release the pressure off of this one so we can remove the belt. And uh, you need to uh, re remember how the belt is. So we're gonna show you actually the diagram and show you how it is. So with the T60, like that, socket. Okay, if you go right there on top, that's where, uh, well, maybe it's a, yeah, it's a T60. It needs to go all the way in. Okay, and now, Let's see if we can move the tensioner, but that thing is too tight for some reason. Don't know why. It shouldn't be as bad as it is now. Okay, it's moving a little bit. So we're gonna get a bigger ratchet, guys. A break over bar. It's really, really tight. Don't wanna break the fingers there. So we're gonna use the cheater bar here, okay? It's in, okay, and you can see how much we gained now and we're gonna get the belt of the pulley tensioner pulley and we can let go now okay and uh, that's it you can see the belt will actually come out now okay right there and uh in order to remove it guys you need to start all the way go to this side now so you just need to start on one side and work it all the way around Okay, it's out of here now. So we have on the bottom now here and the AC compressor pulley, which is a little bit tight there. Trying to fit the camera, guys, so we can show you how to do it. Okay. And the only thing left now. Okay, right there, it was holding under the thing. Okay, and that's it, guys. That's the belt right here. Okay, guys, so let's see if we can get the belt in now we're gonna get it on the big pulley first that's the first thing we need to get okay right there next we'll jump to the uh, to the ac compressor which is very tight spot right there you can see let me see if i can get the camera in Okay, almost there now. We went around the AC line, the pipe there. So now, next thing guys, we will need to go from there. Uh, we, we're gonna go to the uh, power steering pump. Okay, once you get it in like that, you can just pull it because we'll need to go to the tensioner pulley which will probably install last but you need to make sure you go in the grooves of the crankshaft now okay like that you can see and from there we're gonna go down to the power steering pump we will have the diagram in a little bit guys so we can show you exactly where it needs to be because it's a little bit of a mess and it's quite a bit of a very close to the radiator okay so now we're gonna take it off the tensioner pulley and install it or try to install it on the alternator here and it's very important to line it up really good where it is supposed to be because otherwise it's gonna come off once you start the car okay and we have the tensioner pulley last right here Okay, so now we gonna okay release the pressure and see if we can get it on the pulley now. Okay, like that. We got it on the pulley. You can see right there the tensioner pulley. We need to check everything, inspect everything, and make sure everything is lining up good before we start the car and just start it and make sure it stays there and uh, before we drive it because if something is wrong it's gonna come off you can burn it so 
just be careful okay guys so this is the diagram right here now that we told you that's the AC compressor that's looking at the engine from the front uh, crankshaft pulley that's the tensioner pulley you go to power steering then you go around that uh, little pulley there and you go back to the alternator and all the way to the AC from there so uh, that will be the whole procedure guys thank you for watching uh, let us know if the video was helpful and see you next time